Okay, today I'm going to show you how to enable the USB on VirtualBox. So I'm going to show you an example of it not working. So I'm going to try to enable the USB on Windows XP 32-bit virtual machine. So I'm going to go to settings, go to USB, I'm going to go to USB 2.0. Oh, it says invalid settings detected, so it's not going to work. I'm going to try it again. I'm going to put OK and try to start virtual machines. See, it won't let me start it. It says, fail to open a session for the virtual machine Windows XP 32-bit. Okay, I'm just going to exit out of here. I'm going to try something else. Um, I'm going to go back to 1 and start it. So my USB uh, drive is in my computer right now. And I'm going to try to enable... Um, the USB drive with the USB 1.0 settings which you just saw me click on earlier so in order to do that I go here I enable this that's my USB drive so it says it detected it But I don't see it here. All I see is a hard drive, my optical drive, and this is a link from this is a share folder from uh, from my computer to this computer to this virtual machine. So there is no uh, USB flash drive. So I'm just gonna disable that and get out of here. So when you enable the USB drive on your virtual machine, it's disabled. It's disabled on your regular computer. This doesn't show. That's my USB drive. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go to the website. Virtual Boxes website. So I'm going to go to Downloads here. This is what you have to download here. This is the VirtualBox 6.0.1 for Oracle VM VirtualBox Extension Pack. That's what I need. So I'm going to download that. And I also need the latest version of uh, VirtualBox as well. So I need to download this as well. The so both. as you can clearly see that uh, so my version is 5.2.6 and the version I'm downloading is 6.0.14 that's the one that I want okay so it's finished downloading go to my download folder and run this I gotta turn this off. I didn't do that. 
gotta disable that. Okay, now I'm going to start the new version of Oracle. And now I have to go to Preferences. Got to go to Extensions, and I have to put that in there. So this is a file that I downloaded from the Oracle site, and I need to install it. Scroll down here. I agree, yes. I'm going to try that again. USB. I'm going to put OK. Looks like it works. Let's see if it starts. Started. That's a good sign. Now I'm going to enable the USB uh, drive on my computer. So Seems to be installing it right now. I don't see it. Maybe I should have selected USB 2.0. Because yeah. Windows XP doesn't have win uh, USB 3.0. I know that. Put that instead. See if that works. USB hardware was found. Yes. Find news hardware. Okay. Your hardware is installed and ready to use. I don't see it. Restart the computer and see if it works.
Okay, now my USB hard uh, drive is um, it's working. Mm, good. As you can see, it's detected. But I definitely don't want to format it. I'm gonna install another USB drive and try it out because that uh, format format is not uh, a standard um, USB format. So I'm gonna get out of here, disable that, go back, disable it. Don't want it. I want to put another USB drive in there and try it out. Take this one out. something else. Okay, try this one. Settings, go to USB. I'm gonna choose that instead. See if this works. Did it? Um, see if it shows. Looks like I'm gonna have to restart my computer, turn it off, turn off my computer, and do it again in order for it to show. Okay, my USB drive is working now. That's good. Great. Now I'm going to put a file in there. And I'm going to see if that file uh, shows up. here and I'm gonna exit out of my computer and see if that file shows up. Okay. I put that test file in a virtual box and now it's showing up here. It looks like it worked. Okay, thanks for watching.